Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition Modded, The Mage's Ascent, episode number nine. So, guys, in the last episode, we had a quest given to us. We uh, finished off the uh, the Barrow, and uh, we managed to uh, kill everyone in there, leveled up a couple of times as well, which is really, really good. And now we're in this place called uh, Garriman's Hall, and uh, it appears uh, we were first investigating a quest for uh, this uh, guy whose house had burned down. He's, uh, he's a pretty crazy guy. He's called Nafi, and uh, we had to go and see what was going on with uh, his sister, who had apparently disappeared and never said goodbye. So uh, the innkeeper told us that he was pretty sure she was dead, and we actually found her remains in the river. And uh, she uh, apparently went to the island to look for ingredients, and on this island we found this... Uh, this barrow in a cave so there's actually the uh we are now in Garriman's hall and uh, there's a few jorger and stuff in here but this is definitely not the source of uh the death of uh nafi's sister so uh yeah raider did not die down here anyway we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of uh enchanting here guys because we need to go ahead and uh disenchant a load of the stuff that we got so let's go and uh at least disenchant the stuff for now um and hopefully we should learn some stuff from these guys maybe um we want to do... Okay, I want to keep the uh, Necklace of Minor Magicka. Hooded Robe, Circlet of Alchemy. We already know that as well, so that's fine. I don't think we can really enchant much. We can... I guess we could try and enchant some things just to sell. Um, so why don't... Yeah, why don't we just enchant some things just to sell later? Because um, that would be pretty good. Um, so let's fortify Alchemy with... So we'll use these soul gems and we can just put it on some random things, right? Because that will increase its value a little bit. Not much. Um, you know, it's only like 1% more powerful. But we're actually learned some enchanting skill from doing that. So, uh, you know, we actually got an entire level of enchanting just using a petty soul gem. So that's not bad, right? So let's go ahead and just do a few of these. Um, so let's do this guy. So yeah, I raised it to 191. So it looks like that's a pretty good enchant to put on it. And there we go. We are now uh, pretty much raising our skill straight away. Fortified lock picking, and let's do it on the what's this? Red guard, red guard knight cape. Um, enchant that guy. There we go. So lock picking is one percent easier. There we go. And that got that went ahead and uh, increased our uh, enchanting. So we're nearly leveled up again, guys, which is pretty cool. All right. So we need to uh, go ahead and use this and. Um, and get up there we go so yeah something's uh something's a bit of a miss here so yeah uh something is a bit of a miss in this place so uh it's pretty interesting just to explore this place see what the hell's going on um so let's just have a little look up here make sure there's nothing up here doesn't look like there's anything up in this little section so let's press on so yeah we came, we, we got this far we haven't finished the uh the ruins yet as you can see we're still going through them there are a few restless drawer in here but we managed to deal with those which is great so we're now going to go ahead and make our way up here and see what we can find. So it sounds like there is a Draugr up here somewhere. Here we go. Okay, this guy's a restless Draugr. So destruction increased. Right, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Uh-oh. He's, he's slicing at me. We can get him. There you go. Very nice. All right, and let's level up. Hooray! So let's go get Magicka once again. Get that reserve of Magicka straight up. Right, so let's go and see what other things we can do here. Um, so destruction right now is at 38 so i think we should probably start investing down the destruction tree um so we've got force of nature which is uh beneficial beneficial spells this one here is pretty good as well um if wearing robes in the light or heavy armor destruction spells are 25 cent more powerful so that's going to be great for us when we are coming later on i think we're going to get going to get combustion so far in earth cells and effects cast and others are up to 30 percent more powerful based on the target's missing health percentage which is really good so we're going to go and get combustion get our fire spells up i think merciless cold affects our water spells so yeah frost and water spells are affected by merciless cold so we're going to want to get this as well but eventually essentially we can start getting more stuff up here so this one's uh searing burns or scarring burns even uh reduce the fire resistance to their targets by 30 percent for five seconds which is really good as well because that means um it'll be pretty cool and earth spells uh makes targets much more vulnerable to physical damage if their health is low which is really cool so there's a, there's a load of good stuff up here um Conflagration fire ignite the ground underneath the targets for 30 seconds, and the burning ground deals eight points of damage. And uh, flash fire, I believe, also has another effect. Uh, ignite targets for 12 seconds, and the next instance of fire damage that hits an ignited target except burning ground detonates, dealing 125% more damage. So when we get to destruction 50, there's going to be some very, uh, some very powerful uh, things that we can go ahead and do, which is really cool. But there we go, doing well on the destruction side so far. We leveled up, everything is looking fine and dandy. So let's keep going through these ruins and see what we are going to find up here 
So I see, right, there's, uh, looks like this lever thing is trapped right here. So that's going to trigger the arrow. So let's stand this side of it and then, then pull it. There you go. Are you going to lower the bridge? No. Okay, hang on. So why did you not lower the bridge? Is there something else we have to do here? Hmm. I'm not too sure here. So it looks like, yeah, we have been down that area before. Hang on a minute. Do we have to do it again? Is that going to lower the bridge? No. So something needs to be triggered in this room to lower that bridge. But I don't know exactly what it is. There must be something else around here that's going to lower it. Oh, let's go and uh, rely our way here. So candlelight is lasting a bit longer because that way we've already been. We've, uh, I think we've already been through that area. Uh, yeah, there's some dead draugr through there. So we've already been that way. So how do we lower this bridge? I'm not even sure. We can't really reach across it to to get there. That's always going to trigger this trap. No matter what we do. So there must be another... I'm probably missing it. There must be something else around here that we can that we can do. So if we're on this place here, is there another... It's like another hidden chain behind here or something that we can pull? Cause sometimes, ah, there you go. There you go. Hidden one right there. There we go, we got it. So we already killed these guys up here, which is awesome. So let's go and get the uh, the arrows and... I'm, I guess I can leave these ancient or weapons here. Um, right, oh, there's a guy right over there. See him? Okay, it looks like we can't get this guy from here. So we're going to pull this guy. Here we go. So up the draugr here. Right, get out of here. There you go. Oh, double death. Look at that. Very nice. Right, you've got some arrows, and that's about it. And you've got a great sword. Right, another one's coming. Who's coming? Where's this next one at? This way. Oh, here we go. Rest this guy. Right, okay. Triple magic on him. There you go. Boom! Down you go. Okay, there we go. So he's taken out. Very good. See, I gotta keep my candlelight equipped. So it's very rare that I can actually use double uh, double cast spells at the moment, which is actually quite a cool thing. Because um, usually, I, when when these places are light, you can pretty much just spam dual cast magic and you're fine. But when they're dark like this, you've really got to use your candlelight um, and just make sure that it's always lit. Otherwise, uh, you know, we've got a lantern, but compared to our regular candlelight, the lantern just doesn't really do that much of a good job. Okay. Oh, here we go. So. Go. Hey, we made it through without getting hit. Nice. Right. Recast this guy. And let's turn that off. There we go. Alright, there is a poison right there. Let's go and take that. Again, we're going to need to find a place to sell this stuff. Back in Riften is probably a good place. So let's go and uh, head down here. Right. Ooh, dear. What's this place here? Ooh, hang on. I'm not liking the look of this place. Let's go ahead and uh, what we got here. Let's go and grab these guys here. Okay. I have a feeling we're about to approach a boss battle or something here. Okay. Ah, that was where we were earlier. Okay. Oh, wait. I think I remember this. I think I remember this. I think we have a very tough boss to be, and he's got like an ebony bow or something. Um, like over very, very OP. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just grab all the alchemy ingredients here. We are definitely going to quick save before we try this because I think there's going to be something pretty tough going on here. So let's go and quick save here. There we go. Okay. Oh, here we go. So Golderson, eh? So he's going to go ahead and disappear. Right. Where's he gone? Okay. Right. So these guys have all got bows. Right, okay, we've got to be a bit careful here. Make sure we're staying out of the uh, the range of these guys. Right. Right, that guy's gone. Right. So yeah, this guy can duplicate himself a few times, right. So now he's going to disappear. Right, where's he gone? Right, there he is. Right. Make sure we're avoiding this magic, so let's try and stay out of, stay out of his way. Right, where is he? Here he is. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. He's, uh, 
This guy's pretty powerful. Back this way, right. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Right. Dodge around him. Okay. So there's more of them. Right. Keep going, right. Let me recast candlelight again. Right. Let's use, um, right. Where's he gone now? Alright. There's a few of them here, right, so... That guy's gone. That guy I think we can just go ahead and get rid of. Right. Where is he? He's up here. Oh, well. Okay. Okay, back down, back down. Get back here. Right, we need to heal. Right. Right, let's heal up here. And let's use a uh, mage armor spell. There we go. Right, our magic needs to recover. Let's kind of stay down here a bit so we're out of range of arrows. Right. This guy's still getting me though. Right, there we go. We got the got that guy out of the way. Alteration increased. Very nice. Um, right, let's go ahead and just stay here for a minute. Cast this guy. Get candlelight up. Right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Get that guy out of the way. Right, where's the last guy? He is... Uh, okay, he disappeared. Right, okay, they're, they're disappearing all around. Okay, these guys are very powerful. Um, right. He's gone, right. Where's he gone? Right, that guy's gone. Right, I think the guy is up here. Yeah, here we go. Okay, we nearly got him. Oh. Where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? Right, he's up there now. He's now severely weakened. Right. Got him! There we go, we did it. Nice! So, Sigdis Golderson. Alright, so let's go and see what he's got, eh? So he's got... Ooh, a Golder Amulet Fragment, eh? Increase the stamina by 30 points. Hey! That's pretty cool. I will, uh, I'll take that. That's pretty, that's pretty nice effect. Um, we got some Ancient One Arrows. A Golder Black Bow, eh? Um, absorbs 10 points of Magicka. Ooh. It's not bad. And we got a Writ of Sealing, eh? Hmm. There we go. Well, that was a pretty tough fight, guys. That was a pretty tough fight. Um, but we did it. We, de we did it. So uh, that Mage Armor spell came in very, very handy. That was very nice. All right. Well, there we go. He managed to uh, defeat that, that first guy. He was pretty powerful. That bow, that bow he's got did a lot of damage. So, uh, yeah, we wanted to uh, make sure Ooh, we are... Go ahead and... Uh, hoopla. And let's go ahead and... There we go. Go ahead and heal up. There you go. So yeah, that was uh, that was pretty powerful. Um, however, we did it, and now we can get the hell out of here. So let's go and get the soul gem and the potion. Very nice. Um, nothing much there. Right, let's go and search the chest, see what we've got. We have an orcish dagger of stone. Toad takes 10 points of earth damage to health, has health regeneration to stops for 5 seconds, and a chance to be staggered. That's pretty good. A uh, scroll of mass paralysis, eh? Oh, that's good. Take that, some septums, and a staff of frostbite, guys. We got our first staff. Yay! That's awesome. So you can take that, because uh, as a pure mage, we're allowed to use staffs too. There we go. Alrighty. Well, there we go, guys. We managed to uh, managed to complete that uh, little section. I think this is the way out. This is the way out. It looks like it is. Oh, it's uh, over here. Okay, let's go and uh, grab these out. So we're finding a load of these mushrooms in here, which is good. Uh, pull this guy. Grab that. Right, where's this leading? Right, I think this is leading out to the main cave again. Here we go. Yep, we're now back out in the main cave. All right, there we go. Go ahead and grab all these things too. So there we go, guys. We managed to defeat um, Golderson. And we got ourselves a Golder Amulet Fragment, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and make sure we've got all of these things before we uh, head out of here. Because I definitely want to be collecting all these for... Uh, a lot of these things are actually good for uh, magic potions. So the iron ore vein, we don't really need that. That leads to the outside. I think we've got everything here. A couple of... A uh, couple of things here. Let's go and grab those. Uh, grab the shrooms. Magic mushrooms, guys. Let's grab them. There we go. Oh, that's going to... Uh, and now YouTube's going to censor everything and just be like, your video is no longer suitable for advertisements because you mentioned magic mushrooms. It wouldn't surprise me. What would the uh, the stunts YouTube has been pulling this these days? But there we go, guys. We managed to go ahead and uh, defeat Golderson. There we go. Just grab that butterfly out there as well. So there's a few butterflies on this island too. Let's go and grab those. All right. So we did it. That was awesome. So what we need to do now is pretty much head back to uh, head back to Iverstead. And um, we're gonna have to. Uh, I think we're gonna have to tell Nafi the bad news, guys. That uh, unfortunately. 
his sister Raider has passed. So let's go ahead and uh, swim up this way. Uh, is there any tap another on these uh, on these trees here? Make sure, because sometimes there is. Uh, it usually grows on these. It usually grows on these trees. Uh, there it is, right down there. Can we get it? E. I can't reach it. This side. Okay, it looks like I can't take it. Okay, there's definitely tap another there, but I can't take it. Um, all right. Let's go find Nafi, shall we? So yeah. I've been looking for you. Oh, hello. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Aha. Looks like that's it. Got to go. All right. Well, thank you very much. So we got a letter from uh, a Jarl. I don't know which Jarl. He just said the Jarl. So I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming the one from White Run, because that's the only Jarl that I've been in contact with. So I'm guessing, uh, I'm guessing he may have more news about dragons potentially. But anyway, let's go visit Nafi. All right. So, dude, what are you doing? Hey. Oh, Raider, Raider, you live among the clouds now, dear Raider. Okay, so, uh, I found Raider's necklace. Raider, you saw Raider? Did you tell her Narfi cries? Did you tell her Narfi never said goodbye like mother and father? Um. Okay, I've got to, I've got to break it to him. I'm sorry, dude. She's dead. Oh, no. No, no, no. Narfi never got to say goodbye. Now Narfi's all alone. At least Narfi has Raider's necklace. Reminds Narfi of his sister. Thank you for giving this to Narfi. I'm sorry, dude. Um, oh, and he gave us a Daedra Heart, Ice Raid Teeth, and some Frost Salts. Dude, you had a Daedra Heart? No wonder you were being driven insane. That thing has probably driving you nuts. Wow, he actually gave us um, a few rare alchemical ingredients then. That's pretty cool. Where did... um? Well, yeah, if, if he's been like harboring a Daedra Heart, then yeah, that's... Uh, that's something. So we got ourselves a Daedra Heart. That was awesome. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is everything I think we can do around uh, the Iverstead area. Uh, let's just have a little look around, make sure there's nothing else we can do. Um... That guy's still working on the farm there. So that's it. Hello. The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. Such a thing has not happened for hundreds of years. This is very true. And we're going to have to uh, ascend that mountain very shortly. Now, before we do that, I think that's pretty much everything here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and head back to... Uh, we're going to fast travel back to Riften. And we're going to go ahead and hand in this uh, quest to the Temple of Mara. So let's go and fast travel back there. And uh, let's tell uh, tell the lady about the uh, the good news. So uh, we got the uh, we got some love happening, which is which is really nice. So let's go ahead and uh, go and give them the good news. So let's come in here, and here we go. Right. So let's jump in here, and let's go talk to her. All right. Where are you at? Here she is. She's just over here. All right. So uh, hello, didn't you? Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. Um, so, uh, I help the uh, the young lovers in Iverstead. How wonderful. Like the sea, their love roils and swells, but brings life and nourishment to all. Well, there we go. Uh, so, does Mara require more of me? I see you are eager to carry the light. As you venture, Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. All right. Embers lie nestled in stone, needing only fuel to bloom a flame that will warm all around them. Go to Markarth. There you'll find Kalsomo, wise, acid, and reclusive. Help him to emerge and state his intentions. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. All right, so we got to go and help. Uh, we got to go and help Calcemo, eh? All right, so let's go and get a uh, blessing from here. Make sure we're cured of all disease, and let's get out of here. There we go. All righty, so I think what we're going to do then is uh, for the last part of this uh, this episode, we're going to go and do the uh, we're going to go and do the travel to uh, High Hrothgar. So let's go ahead and make our way onto here, and we're going to start traveling up here. Here we go. 
So back to uh, back to Iverstead. We want to now go ahead and see if we can start travelling up the mountain here. So I'm not sure where, I'm not sure where we are supposed to go. I think it's down this way, and this should lead us up to uh, where we need to go. So yeah, here we go. So High Hrothgar is up this way. Alrighty. And oh, look at this. What is this thing? Um, activate Kynes Fire. Does that do anything? Um, oh, hang on. What is this? Uh, you have faint whispers of an ancient language. Ooh, okay. So there's also these things up here. Now uh, let's have a see what this is. So before the birth of men, the dragons rule all Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs. For the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. All right. Start heading up. Uh, start heading up. So this is the way to uh, High Hrothgar, guys. Now, there is one thing I discovered. If you read all of these things here. If you read all these tablets, you'll actually get uh, benefits, um, and it will it will make it, I believe, so that animals will no longer attack you for a very long period of time, which is pretty cool. Um, so, Pillar of Stormblast discovered, eh? I don't know where that is, but it's probably just down here. Let's go ahead and start climbing the uh, let's start climbing up the steps here. So, yeah, we're gonna see if we can read all these things. So, let's get up here. And let's have a little look and see what we can find, shall we? So hopefully there's not going to be too many things that attack us up here. But I think things might start to get pretty nasty as we go. Um, so we're going to try and read all the uh, we're going to try and read all the tablets as we go up, because that'd be good if we can do that. So let's head up the uh, let's head up the mountain here, and we're going to see if we can uh, finally emerge to High Hrothgar. Right. Okay. So uh, this guy uh, looks like he's doing something. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Um, do you visit the Greybeards? They're not the sort to take visitors, but I never go that high up the path anyway. Some folk who make the trip leave them food or other essentials, but not to make conversation. Okay. Um. So what are you doing? I like to spend time up here, walk the steps. Meditate on the emblems. Doesn't hurt when I bag some game along the way. Fair enough. Um, and did you hear the grave is called over, King? I did. Strange days when the monks will do that. I wonder what it means. Well, we're going to go off and find out. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's go ahead and read this one here. So, men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then, and had no voice. Alright. So let's start heading up the mountain, shall we? Here we go, let's make our way up here. And let's see if we can find all these stone tablets. See if we can stop having animals attack us. Alright, come on Mr. Ice Wolf. Get out of here. So these guys are getting tougher. Yeah, that's what you get. There you go. Silly ice wolf. Okay, heal up. There we go. Alright, let's keep going. Let's get our fire shells equipped. So, round the next bit. So looks like we gotta go. I hear more wolves. There's another one. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get candlelight out because then we can triple cast. There we go. That'll quickly finish off these walls. There we go. All right, let's keep going up the mountain then. So let's see if we can find some more wolves and stuff to kill because there's probably going to be more to kill up here. But just by the very fact that we can triple cast spells with this uh, with this orb is very cool. So candlelight becomes a very good spell. Right. Right, so what have we got up here? Any more tablets? Oh, here we go. There's one over here. What does this one say? The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times. 
unafraid to war with dragons and their voices. But the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. All right. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can find some more of these. Right, let's follow the path along here. So we're getting up there. Oh, we're going down again. Why are we going down again? When are we going up the mountain? That's not fair. Right, here we go. So we need to go to the left. Right, here's the next set of stairs. It's a little bit confusing. Okay. Keep candlelight cast as well. Just in case anything else wants to attack us. Okay, where are we going now? Down here? Okay. And then down this way? Alright. And then we gotta go... Up this way? Any more tablets? I don't think so. Okay, we're still going. Here we go, let's keep going. So we're gonna head up these stairs here as well. So, so far everything seems okay. Don't see anything too bad up here. Okay, I wonder if there's anyone in here. Oh, there's a troll up there. Oh, no, there's a troll up there. Okay, right, let's get candlelight ready. Right, here we go. Here you go, so there's a, there is a troll up here, so he's gonna running going to drop down and get me. There you go. Oh, he just damaged himself. Nice, right. There we go. Come on, Mr. Troll. Come on. There you go. Oh! Oh, man, he nearly, he nearly got me. He nearly got me. One one hit and does a load of damage. Right. A, uh, a Winter Troll pelt, eh? I'll take that. Do I need more up here? Right, let's heal quickly. Heal quickly. There we go. And again. Make sure we are overhealing a bit. There we go. Okay, good thing we had that thing out. If he'd have hit, if, if he'd have got one more hit, he would have totally destroyed me. Wow. Good show. Right, okay, here's another one. Alright. Man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice too was strong, although their sacrifices were manyfold. Alright. So you got that troll out of the way. Let's keep going. So that leads off the edge, so we don't want to go that way. Okay, now we're going down the mountain here again. Alright. Don't know if there's still any more after me. No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like we're pretty safe now. So there's that one troll. Okay, ooh, I see another one over here. Let's go ahead and read this one. So what does this one say? With roaring tongues, the Sky Children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice, whilst the dragons withdrew from this world. Alright. Oh, I don't want to do that. Hey, you. I want this. And I would probably want some... I'm going to get myself a, a flesh armor spell, just in case there's more trolls up here. Probably a good idea, right? Okay, let's do that. All right, let's keep going. I'm sure there's going to be some more Nazis up here. Sounds like there's an ice wraith up here or something. I'm hearing something. Okay, let's keep going. Aha, here's another one. Hidden away over here, that one. All right, what have we got here? So, Jürgen Windcaller chose silence and returned. The 17 disputants could not shout him down. Jürgen the Calm built his home on the throat of the world. Alright. I think we're probably missing some, but it's okay. I mean, I'm not really too worried if we don't get this this perk. It's not like the Beal and Endel. Alright, so let's keep making our way along here. I think I probably have missed some, but that's okay. And here we are, guys! Looks like we have arrived to High Hrothgar. Finally. Finally got here. Here we go. Oh, there's one up there. Can read this guy? 
So, for years all silent, the Greybeards spoke one name, Tiber Septim. Stripling them was summoned to Hrothgar. They blessed and named him Dovahkiin. Alright, and it looks like this is it. We are almost at High Hrothgar, guys. This is awesome. So, here we go. High Hrothgar discovered. There's a, uh, there's a jester, but it's empty. So it looks like this is where uh, people leave the, uh, leave the stuff. There we go. So let's go ahead and make our way into here, shall we? Alrighty. What have we got here? So, hello. Here we go. So, the Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Um, let's see. Um, you call me Dragonborn. What does that mean? First, let us see if you truly are Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Alright, so we've got to go ahead and uh, demonstrate the unrelenting force shout. So let's go and do that. Both shout at us. Let us taste of your voice. I gotta shout at them. Okay. So you want me to? You want me to shout? You, you sure? You sure? Okay. Uh, hang on. I, I, <coughs> I'm warming up. Shout will not harm us. I'm warming up. Here we go. Both. Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. All right. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Um. Well, I'm answering. I'm answering your. No, I don't want to. I don't want to call him Master now. Okay, I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only Dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. <laughs> so, uh... So who are you? What is this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinavith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Well, in that case, I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are Dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thoom, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. Alrighty. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Ooh. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, a second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. All right, let's go and learn row, shall we? I think we just gotta stand here and, and learn it. Here we go. There we go. Word of power learned. Balance. Unrelenting force. You truly do have the gift, but learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shot. Well, that is how the rest of us learn and shout. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, 
Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. All right. So we didn't need to give up a dragon soul. We got it for free. Nice. All right. So we got a shout. Here we go. So demonstrate your unrelenting Use force your shout. Unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Uh. All right. Force Nice. Okay, let me stand over here. Well done. Again. There we go. You learn quickly. Once more. Alrighty. There we go. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Borg. All right. So we're gonna follow Master Bori into the courtyard, eh? So let's continue our Dragonborn training. Right, let's see if we can uh, get some more words of power under our belt. Because this is awesome. So now we're unlocking shouts, guys. This is great. So uh, let's head outside here. Let's just let him go first. All right. Let's get out of here. There we go. So the rest of them coming out? Here they come. Alrighty. We will now see how you learn a completely new shout. Ooh. Master Bori will teach you wolf, which means whirlwind. Alright, let's learn a new shout. Here we go. Stand here. Hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Approach Master Bor, who will gift you his head of wool. Alright. Well, thank you, dude. We now learned a new shout for Whirlwind. Alright, this is going to be awesome. So we need to demonstrate the shout. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate Whirlwind Sprint. Then it will be your turn. Alrighty. Nice. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. All right, here we go. So let's go and get our shout equipped, and then we can see if we can uh, master a new shout, guys. So let's go ahead and do that. And whirlwind sprint. Here we go. Cool. Nice. There we go. All right, so now I got to speak to Aaron Gear for further training. Your quick mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. So uh, I thought this is, I thought it was this easy for everyone. No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. All right, so let's see. Um, let's see if we can. Uh, so yeah, who was Jürgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Norse. Master of the voice or tongue. 
After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was made. All right, so uh, there are only four of you. Five. Our leader, Partanax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. All right, so any other things you want to ask? So uh, does the dragon returning have something to do with me? No doubt. The appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. All right. So, thank you, Master. I will continue my training. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Alrighty then, guys. So, I think, uh, let's just go and see. Let's go and see, then, um, if we can figure out uh, where this next quest lies. So, let's go on the map here. And we have to go and find Ustengrab, which is... That's Windhelm. What do we have to do there? Is that... Uh, Oh, we had to tell Aventus that uh, Gradle is dead. So we actually never completed that, so we can go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and uh, find this one. The Horn of Jürgen Windcaller, or Jürgen Windcaller. So whereabouts is Ustengrav? Okay, so Ustengrav is very far away. It's up in, uh, it's actually up near uh, Morthal. We haven't actually been there yet, so that's something that we're going to have to uh, uncover probably in a later quest. So what we're going to do for now is before we end off the episode, let's go ahead and uh, tell, let's go ahead and tell uh, Aventus about the, uh, the killing of uh, Grayla the Kind, or whatever, whatever her name was, that that, hor that horrible lady uh, in the orphanage. Let's go and uh, let's go and tell him about the uh, the death of her, because we managed to actually uh, kill her, and that was uh, that was all good. So uh, I'm not sure where his house is. It's uh, let me see where it is. It's over this side of Windhelm, I think. So we're just going to fast travel back to Windhelm. So where was his house? Here we go. So the Aratina residence. Right, let's get up here. And let's talk to him about uh, the deed that we did. Well, Grail of the Kind, is she, you know? Grail of the Kind is dead. I knew you could do it. I just knew it. I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save me. Here, just like I promised, this should fetch you a nice price. And thank you. Thank you again. Alrighty. So we completed that um, quest. Uh, the Innocence Lost quest. There we go. And we got the uh, Aretino Family Heirloom. So uh, what is the Aretino Family Heirloom? Anyway, it's probably a miscellaneous, isn't it? Uh, what have we got here? Aretino's Family Heirloom. It's uh, a plate. So he gave me he gave me a plate. I mean, really? Really like the probably the leg of goat roast is worth more than that. He, dude, did you did you seriously not clean up? Did you seriously just leave the stuff here? Um, you know, that potion of minor magicka and uh, this lavender and these frost salts are kind of worth more to me right now. So I'm I'm going to take those because that will actually be useful. That was uh, what what you gave me, good sir, was uh, completely and utterly useless, I'm afraid. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, head back to the inn. I think we'll do that, and then we can uh, then we can sleep from here. Hang on, where am I going? Where am I going? I'm going to go in a completely uh, the completely weirdest direction ever. I'm going to head south, I believe, and that should lead us to. I think the inn is right at the front of Windhelm. So let's head down here. Yeah, Win Windhelm is one of those towns that really does confuse me. I think it's this place here. Here we go. Right, let's see if we can actually get a room here this time. So, Candle Hearth Hall. Here we go. Hopefully we can get a room here in, uh, in this time. Let me know if you need anything. Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Um, alrighty. This here's Candle Hearth Hall. Great rooms upstairs, 
and there's a bid for rent on the ground floor. All right, well, I'd like to rent the room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. All righty. I'll show you to your room, right this way. All right, let's go ahead and follow this lady to uh, to our room, and that should be uh, that should be all good. Where are you going? Where is the room that we are be sleeping in? I'm guessing it's this one on the left. Yeah, here we go. This one on the left. Good stuff. All right. Let me know if there's anything else you need. All right, I will let you know if there's anything else I need. Goodbye. Let's go and sleep for a while. There we go. Sleep for 10 hours. So yeah, we did uh, quite a lot in this episode, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to sleep, and then we can continue on our journey in the next episode. So let's go ahead and uh, sleep here. Here we go. And there we go. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye!